Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I want to make this video talking a little bit about the magazines on these 22 uh, pistols and specifically this um, this feature here where you can pull down the follower um, to load the rounds. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, first off, all three of these magazines have snap caps, obviously. They're blue, they're aluminum, they're harmless. Okay, gun in the background, just for, I don't know, I guess the background. Uh, it is safe though, there's nothing in the, the chamber there and obviously there's no magazines in it. So, just real quick for safety. Um, anyway, uh, one of my viewers brought up the issue that I was talking about when I first got this gun. I happen to mention that I think it's really cool that they have um, have this little feature on 22 uh, on this specific magazine and from the Rugers I see and all the other kind of uh, 22 pistols. And I kind of mentioned I kind of wish they had these on other guns. And I didn't really think much of it. That was pretty much the, the end of it. Then I started talking about the gun. What he pointed out to me is that they only have these on 22s for a specific reason, and that is a safety reason. Because 22s are rimfire rounds or cartridges, um, there's a safety issue. If you were to, let's say if you don't have this, uh, this magazine follower, I don't know what you would call this, a lever I guess, um, and you just manually loaded them, you could push hard enough. I mean, I, I guess it would be rare, but there's still a chance that loading this each round at a time, you put enough pressure on that um, that rim to actually set it off. Okay, because obviously it doesn't take too much to uh, you know to, to set off that primer that's built into the case. So I guess the idea behind here is if you're pushing on the case, okay, if this was centerfire ammo like nine millimeter, forty Smith and Wesson, forty five, whatever, um, there's a primer in the middle of the cartridge so you're never putting pressure on it loading however because rimfire ammo has their primer built into the casing okay and it's basically right here on the rim uh, on the inside that putting pressure on that rim is dangerous it might set it off okay so although rare it's possible I guess so they decide to have this kind of feature and then of course in all the manuals you'll see that they they very specifically say not to let this snap forward which obviously makes sense as well because let's say I have, you know, I'm loading this up, and let's say I want to be, you know, smart and pull this Oli back so I leave all the pressure and just kind of load it up, and I let go of it on accident, and there's a round in there. I mean, that could have went off, obviously, if it was a live round. That's enough pressure and enough speed, and, of course, it's being pushed on metal here um, that it could actually go off, and that would be, obviously, a safety issue and a safety concern. Okay, so if you're loading this up, uh, if you guys didn't read the manual, be very careful not to let this snap forward, okay? Because that could definitely be enough pressure to set this round off and uh, injure someone uh, or kill them. So it, it is a serious issue, and I'm glad he brought this up. I want to make the video on it in case you guys, you know, you may have owned a, a Ruger or a Walther for 20 years and never knew this, you know, and never had a problem. But it's, it's good to know, uh, and especially for people who are looking to buy them or thinking about buying them or maybe who just bought them, like myself. So I want to give credit to this person. I'm going to put their, their, a link to their page uh, over in the description box. But I want to read you the email. They went a step further on this. Instead of just having the idea behind it, um, they actually contacted both Ruger and Walther. And I believe, I guess, they, they contacted Smith & Wesson since they uh, there should be Walther guns. But um, here's the, uh, the email. I printed it out, or message on uh, YouTube. And uh, basically, I'm going to read <clears throat> what they wrote. They, Ruger got back to them. They didn't hear yet from uh, the Walther uh, about those guns, but um, I just wanted to tell you what Ruger said about it. So here's the original message to Ruger. Uh, in the manuals for the Mark II, Mark III, and 2245 pistols, it is cautioned never to let go of the magazine's follower button. Okay, so that's what it's called, a follower button. Um, and let the follower snap up on rimfire rounds due to the possibility of setting off a sensitive primer. Exactly how possible or common is this occurrence, and do you have any documented, doc, excuse me, documented cases of this happening? Why does it seem that only Ruger puts this caution in their manuals? And then Ruger's response here, word for word, is it is strictly a liability issue. Sturm Ruger would like to let every customer know about the safe handling of all firearms. And I am not aware of any documented cases with the rounds going off. But rimfire ammo will go off if casing is pinched, smashed, and or hit hard enough. Okay, so good information to know. Don't let it snap forward. Be careful loading. And if you have a uh, a little 22 pistol, semi-auto like uh, I do, like my little Beretta, which does not have this feature. Um, just be careful loading. You know, push the round down a little bit if you can to relieve some of the pressure off the rim uh, when you're loading it. So, that's it. I really want to thank the uh, the viewer who brought this to my attention. 
and I want to make a video about it telling you guys. So, you know, if you didn't know, now you do. If you already did, you know, it didn't hurt to watch it and get reminded of that. Um, you know, just good information. You know, safety first. So that's it. Just want to make the video uh, on this and, and talk about that a little bit. So that's all, guys. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. And uh, see you at my next video. <laughs> Take care.